Good morning, Willard Wildcats. Happy Thursday, February 25th. We have two birthdays to celebrate today. Happy birthday to Tiana B and Darren D. We hope you have wonderful birthdays on this Thursday. Wildcats, today we are going to read I'm Trying to Love Spiders by Bethany Barton. She wrote the book and illustrated it. And it's chock full of amazing arachnid facts. I love her art. And a few years ago, Mrs. Peterson had her come to Willard. So if you don't know this book, I hope you enjoy it. And it's kind of a funny take on spiders. I keep telling myself spiders are cool. I want to love them. Me plus spiders forever. See the heart? I mean, spiders have been around for millions of years, moving silently, swinging into action. I want to think of them like bug ninjas. Spider and dinosaur spring break 165 million years ago. So this is a real example of commitment, being committed to loving spiders. Maybe you're somebody who already loves spiders. And it also helps us to think about being open-minded toward them, doesn't it? Like this spider right here, I'm gonna try really hard to like him. Maybe if I study him for a while, I think it's working, ah, it's moving. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Now that's not being committed to loving spiders, is it? No, that didn't work out, but next time we'll be better. Next time, I'll focus on all the super powers spiders have, like eight eyes. Extreme close up. And spider webs. Spider webs are cool. Look, there's a sheet web, a funnel web, and this one is a spiral orb web. Spiders spin webs out of protein packed spider silk they make themselves. That's like you or me building a house with our hair and then catching food in it on it. That challenges my commitment. <laughs> Some spiders even have billions of tiny hairs called scopulae on their legs that let them stick to walls or ceilings or, oh my gosh, there's a spider stuck on there. Smash it, squish it, get it right now. Now that's not showing commitment to loving spiders, is it? They got to be open-minded. It's pretty cool that they have those features, isn't it? We're not very good at loving spiders just yet. If only spiders were more like things I really love, like burritos and soccer and rocket ships. Look at all the spider features on those beloved items. What is it that you love, I wonder? Instead of their closest relative, they're also totally gross. Arachnid family reunion. There's a scorpion and a tick. But it's not like I'm scared of every icky thing. It's just something about spiders. Maybe it's the fact that almost all spiders are venomous. Spiders can't chew very well, much like a baby sister. They need liquid foods, milk, cream, corn. Since no one's invented a tiny spider-sized blender, spiders rely on their venom to dissolve their dinners, making bugs soft and slurpable. I've always wanted to be a smoothie. Look at the fly. The fly is the smoothie there. But to be fair, while there are about 40,000 known species of spider, only a few can bite humans. And even fewer can harm you with their venom. Wanted dead or smashed a lot. Red hourglass on belly or violent shaped markings on its back. Female black widow or brown recluse for being poisonous enough to ruin your day. Fatal spider bites are so rare. You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't panic, but there is definitely a spider over there. And we're not going to squish it this time, right? Well, just try it. Pet him, maybe. Can you pet spiders? Let's try. Look at the picture. 
Oops, nope, we squished him. I'm never going to love spiders at this rate. Maybe I should focus on what spiders are good at. like eating bugs. That's got to be helpful, right? A single spider can eat over 75 pounds of bugs in a year. 75 pounds of bugs, 75 pounds of a dog. Look at that. I've even heard that some farmers use spiders to keep harmful insects out of their crops. And, oh, wait, looks like some of those bugs oh, made it over here. Get out of here, bugs. I can't even read my book with all of these. Hey, what's that spider doing? Look what the spider does. It helps with the bugs. Are you loving spiders yet? Wow, thanks, little guy. That was really impressive. Spider present for you, box of flies. Aw, oh, did you make that for me? I think I might finally love. Ah, cockroach, squish it, smash it, make it go away. I think there might be a sequel in the works here. One thing at a time. Wildcats, I hope you liked today's book. I hope it makes you more open-minded about spiders if you weren't already. Or if you already love spiders, I hope you get to flex your commitment with somebody about spiders in your space in the future. Don't forget to stay tuned for today's Black History Fact. Wildcats, remember we are safe, respectful, and responsible. Have a wonderful day. Gerald Lawson was known as Jerry. He led the team that developed the first cartridge-based home video game console system in the mid-1970s, which revolutionized programmed gaming systems. This was called a, a Fairchild Channel F. He created an amateur radio station at age 13. Um, after college, he moved from um from New York to California he was friends with the pe with the people from Apple Steve uh St their names were Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak Wozniak from Sil from Silicon Valley Valley. Um, he created a coin-operated game called Demolition Derby that incorporated a micro a microprocessor while working in his garage while working in his garage on his own time. 